Are you thinking about refinancing? How do you make a smart choice? Stay tuned for my tips and considerations you should think about before you make that decision. And stay tuned till the end if you have a second mortgage to find out how you can also refinance your first mortgage without paying off or discharging the second mortgage. Everybody's talking about it. The interest rates are very low and now is the time to refinance. There has never been a time for better rates. How do you make a choice of what's good for you? Here are some factors you need to take into account before you make the decision to refinance your current mortgage. First, what is the reason that you're refinancing? The most common reason for refinancing is simply because you are getting a better interest rate. That's what we call a term refinance. So simply stated, if you have a 30 year old mortgage and you have 5% interest rate and the interest rates right now are three and a half, you'd definitely be saving some money each time you make a payment. Alternatively, another refinance type is what we call a term refinance. Let's say you're having difficulty making your payments and you currently have 20 years left on your mortgage. You could simply refinance the same amount of money, whether it's the same rate or a higher rate, by the fact that you could restart on a 30 year mortgage, your payments would decrease on a monthly basis. Last, we have what we call a cash out refinance. A cash out refinance is one where you personally wanna cash out part of the equity in your home and use it for other reasons. When you do a cash out, you do not get the benefits of a term refinance. A term refinance has the restriction that you cannot get cash out or limited cash out, usually to no more than $2,000. A cash out specifically has the purpose of you taking out the equity in your home so that you could use it for other purposes. Because the bank's giving you that liberty to use it in any way you want, the bank will charge you anywhere between half a point to 1.5% more than the standard rate that you're used to. But if you're an investor, that may still be a wise choice if you need the money for college expenses, to rehab your house, to remodel part of it, or to use the money as a deposit on another property or investment that you have pending. You decide to do a rate refinance, don't forget that you have to factor in how long have you been paying your current mortgage. Although your mortgage payments will be less, make sure that the benefit is a result of a reduced interest rate and reduced monthly payments and not because you have paid for a significant period of time and you're stretching out the mortgage back to a 30 year loan. So if you started with a 30 year loan and you've paid 10 years, Perhaps you could do a rate refinance and stick with a, a brand new 20 year mortgage rather than going back to a 30 year mortgage. You would in effect be delaying when you pay off your house. Many people choose to refinance a 30 year mortgage into a 20 or 15 year mortgage simply because the interest is lower. But you may be putting a higher burden on yourself to meet your mortgage payments. As an alternative to refinancing, you simply have the option of increasing your principal payments every single month. You can go to a website online that gives you the option of factoring in how much additional monthly payments will reduce your term of the mortgage. It can give you calculations on how much will an extra 50, 100, 200 each month reduce the life of the loan. Alternatively, you can make periodic payments every three months, every six months, or at the end of the year when you do your taxes, you could simply use your tax reimbursement as an additional payment towards the principal of your loan. That will significantly reduce the term of your mortgage. A lot of people enter into a refinance for the purpose of consolidating debt. Now, if you have two mortgages and want to consolidate into one mortgage, that might be a good idea. A lot of people propose that you get out of credit card debt, which might be anywhere from 15 to 25% interest for a mortgage. While it is true that a mortgage has a significantly lower interest rate, uh, the only problem I have with that is credit cards are not secured, meaning if for any reason you had financial difficulty in the future, you do hypothetically have the option of filing bankruptcy and eliminating all debt. Not to say that that's a primary concern on your behalf, but 
the moment that you grant a mortgage and pay off the credit cards, you in fact converted all credit card debt into a secured loan. Now you absolutely have to pay it because you put the home at risk. If you're in financial stability, are responsible and want to pay, I mean, that is an option. Do take it into account when you make that decision. I've come across other financial advice and tips that simply say nobody should ever make unsecured credit card debt secured with a mortgage. If you watch to the end, here's my special tip for those that have two mortgages. If you think that you cannot refinance, think again. Many lenders who are in second lien position and if your property has significant equity are happy to allow you to refinance the first mortgage without a problem. What it requires is that you submit a request to the second mortgage holder to subordinate to a brand new first. Banks will generally restrict this to term refinances only. What that means is you are not increasing the principal amount of the original mortgage. You are simply borrowing the same amount of money from a new bank or the same bank for better terms. So you have the option of reducing the rate, reducing your monthly payments, but keeping the second mortgage in second lien place. Again, a subordination agreement is a special process in which you request from the second mortgage holder consent to get a brand new first mortgage, which automatically becomes second lien because they're after, but the subordination agreement says, notwithstanding a new mortgage being recorded, we agree to voluntarily go back into second place or second lien on the title of the property. If you've enjoyed this content, please share it with a friend and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned.